Inside a human cell is the nucleus. Inside the nucleus are 23 pairs of chromosomes. These are long threads of DNA carrying the genetic information. Right at the ends of the chromosomes are special stretches of DNA called telomeres. They are known to play a crucial role protecting the ends of DNA. So we kind of think of this like the tip at the end of the shoelace, because if you don't have that tip, then the end of your shoelace frays away very quickly. You know, your shoelace won't work properly if it doesn't have a tip. And it's like the end of a chromosome, the end of a DNA. If it doesn't have an intact tip on it, the telomere, it too will fray away. When a cell is replicating, it can't copy its DNA all the way to the end. And so telomeres shorten with each replication. If telomeres get critically short, the cell can malfunction and die. If you don't have caps on the end of a chromosome, then the ends become very sticky. It's almost like the shoelace ends become tied together. And this messes up the genetic material. This can have disastrous consequences for cells, a little bit like if your ends of your shoelaces are tied together, you're going to trip up and fall. Liz studied tiny, single-celled creatures found in ponds, called tetrahymena. They have enormous numbers of small chromosomes. She carefully determined the structure and makeup of their telomeres. Then she noticed something odd. Something puzzling was happening at the ends of the DNA, the very short chromosomes in tetrahymena, and that was that DNA was getting added on to the ends of these chromosomes, and this was not anything that anybody expected DNA to do. Something was adding new DNA to the ends of the chromosomes. The telomeres were not wearing down, and so the cells could replicate endlessly. They were, in effect, immortal. We started to think, there must be some new process that nobody had ever, ever heard of before. It wasn't in the textbooks, and it wasn't anything that people had described before for DNA, and yet uh, it had to be something to explain what it was we kept on seeing. And so I wanted to hunt this down. 